And back to that wind-driven grass fire that burned near Yoder in eastern El Paso County today. As we told you, 600 acres burned at least three homes that were damaged. Some sheds were destroyed, but no one was injured. At one point, smoke was, was visible from both Ellicott and Rush. More than 35 homes were part of a voluntary evacuation. Homeowners are now allowed back in their homes. We spoke with a man who lives where the fire started. He says he was grilling on Sunday, and wind may have rekindled the fire. Yeah, it started here, definitely started here because um, we we threw some, we had a barbecue that day on Sunday and um, Monday we threw the charcoal in there, but we put water. Again, officials have not confirmed the cause of the fire. More than a dozen different agencies responded today. And that fire called the Fossinger Fire caught a lot of people in the Yoder area off guard. But as Cardio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison shows us, their quick action and a little bit of faith may have kept that fire from getting bigger. Several people inside this century-old Antioch community church were the first to notice the fire. And we could see this that coming across the field right toward us. And I looked up and it looked like a big thunderstorm. While the group helped an elderly neighbor get out, one man grabbed a garden hose and took action. It worked in different areas, and so, some areas I had to I had to back off because when the wind picked up and the and the heat, you had to back off and go catch another breath of fresh air and dive back in. Kenny Kaywood also played firefighter. You can see how close the flames got to his home. We got uh, pretty good uh, water pressure out here. So we were able to bat down the flames pretty well with this, thank God. Not only is it dry and windy out here, but you can see all the tumbleweeds clogging the fence lines. And this is what residents worry about, that these tumbleweeds will turn into fuel for this fire and other fires later. At one point, fire and smoke surrounded a home where an elderly man refused to leave. We can't force them to leave. Our job is to advise them to leave at this point. Um, he uh, stayed in the house. The house was, uh, did suffer some fire damage. Fortunately, he wasn't hurt. Firefighters believe this St. Anthony coin found outside the church may have provided divine protection from the fire. In Yoder, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks so much, Scott. And a second fire burned south of Highway 50 in Pueblo County this afternoon. It, however, was quickly contained. Pueblo Rural Fire says a farmer was conducting an agricultural burn when the wind kicked up and blew it out of control.